Hello and welcome to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are going to distance formula specifically with IXL B9 and all these problems are pretty much going to be the same. They're going to give you two points or something uh, along those lines and they're going to ask you to just find the distance between those two points. So there's a couple of different things you can do. You can use distance formula or maybe even triangles. I'm going to use distance formula because it's always uh, good practice to understand how to do the distance formula and know how to repeat it. So all we're going to use for this IXL is the distance formula. D equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay, so I'll label the points up here as x1, etc. So the first coordinate is going to be x1 comma y1. The points up here are going to be x2 comma y2. Okay, and we'll just plug them in from here. So d equals the square root of x2 is going to be 5 minus uh, x1 is going to be 2 and then squared plus y2 is going to be 9 minus y1, which is 5 squared, okay, equals the square root of 5 minus 2 is going to be 3, so we're left with 3 squared. Let me erase that. It's a little icky. Okay, 3 squared plus 9 minus 5 is 4, so we have 4 squared. Let's simplify this a little bit more. 3 squared or 3 times 3 is 9, and then 4 squared or 4 times 4 is 16. So if we add both of those together, 9 plus 16 is 25. Now the square root of 25 is what? What times what is 25, or what times itself is 25? And that is going to be 5. 5 times 5 is 25, right? So the square root of 25 is just plain old 5. So the distance between those two points is going to be 5 units. Wonderful. Okay, next problem. Again, we're going to use our distance formula between or for these two points. D equals x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared equals the square root of so now we will uh, label the points just for simplicity. So we'll do x1 comma y1 and then x2 comma y2. x2 is going to be 7 and then minus 1 squared plus y2 is 8 minus 0 squared. Okay. 7 minus 1 is 6 and 6 squared is going to be 36 plus 8 minus 0 is 8, and then 8 squared is 64. Okay, 36 plus 64 is going to be 100. And what is the square root of 100? What times itself is 100? And that is going to be 10. And that's going to be our distance. Distance is 10 units. Cool. Okay, so same deal here. I'll skip this. Let me see if there's a more difficult one. Pretty much the same process. We're going to use the distance formula. Okay, so again, the distance formula is D equals the square root of uh, x2 minus x1 all squared plus y2 minus y1 all squared. Okay, so I'm going to label my points up here, and that's going to be x1 comma y1, and then x2 comma y2. So we're going to do d equals the square root of x2 is going to be 0, and then minus x1 is going to be 1 squared, plus y2 is going to be 6, and then minus 3 squared, all right. So we have 0 minus 1, which is negative 1, and then negative 1 squared is just going to be 1. 
right? Negative one times negative one is a positive one, so just one plus six minus three is three, and then three squared is going to be nine, so we have nine plus one, okay? Square root of 10. Okay, so it's important to uh, factor your answer out because if you do not factor your answer, IXL will say you are incorrect. So is it even possible to factor this answer out? Well, not really. I mean, you can try to do uh, two or five or something like that, but you can't really factor it out. So actually the square root of 10 is the lowest possible answer you can get to. Lucky for you, we'll just type in the square root of 10. We'll do new square root d equals square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay, so we'll do x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2. So we'll do equal the square root of x2 is going to be negative 5 minus x1 which is 9 squared plus y2 is going to be negative 10 minus y1 is going to be 8 all squared. Okay negative 5 minus 9 is negative 14 so negative 14 squared is going to be 196 positive 196 and then plus um, negative 10 minus 8 is going to be negative 18 so negative 18 squared or negative 18 times negative 18 is going to be your positive 324 so when you add those together you are going to get 520 so the square root of 520 okay so now this is something we're going to have to uh, factor out so to do that we uh, i like to start with the two so we are going to go uh, separate it into two times two times half of 520 is going to be 260 and then half of 260 is 130 so 520 is the same as 2 times 2 times 130 okay if we have two of the same number in here we can bring it to the outside so this is going to equal two square roots of 130 okay we give us a clean answer so if we try to uh, take a three out can we take a three out uh, no we cannot that is not going to be a clean answer either. Okay, can we take a four out? Uh, that is not going to be clear as well. Okay, can we take two fives out? Uh, no, you cannot. And so I'm going to basically stop there. Um, I don't think you can factor 130 uh, down further. That looks to me like it is a uh, number that cannot be factored out. So we'll stop at two square roots of 130 and hopefully that will be correct. Two square roots of 130. And that's correct. Okay, that's where I'm going to end the video. Uh, stay safe, take care, study hard, and see you for the next IXL tutorial. Goodbye.